Whoa, we're rolling. What's up? I'm Brooke. Hi. Hey, this is my Rickenbacker. It's a 450 12 string. I think it's a 1965. I might have showed this a few times before, but what the heck? I had to replace the tuning pegs because the old ones were disintegrating. I had somebody get me a, uh, this was missing. Somebody made me a pick guard and put in a nice 12 saddle bridge. Original pickups. Some brilliant person drilled holes in the back. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, you know, if you're ever thinking about drilling into a vintage guitar, just maybe don't, if you can somehow hold off. <laughs> ask, ask questions. Well, let's see if we can get some sound out of this here. Oh, no, nothing. Seems to be dead. Holy smokes, we got sound. So this thing, I always think of it as kind of spiky. <laughs> Unless you play it kind of smooth. do cowboy strumming if you want. I've played some gigs with this guitar playing like ACDC covers. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's kind of tempting to think about some Beatles uh, parts, you know, like... Uh, do you recognize this? Every little thing she does, she does for me. What's another 12 string part that's pretty popular? Uh, pretty easy to play the whole neck. I'm playing both pickups now. Let's do the bridge. kind of exercising so yeah it's got nice low action uh, you know original frets aren't worn too bad this fretboard could use a little cleaning maybe it's got some wear on it some kind of weird scratches but it's just a nice little guitar it's small pretty easy to handle the spacing is really narrow so when you get in there to play you got to arch your fingers up on the tips which is proper technique if you had kind of chubby fingertips, you'd have a lot of trouble getting, you know, not muting out strings. 
So that's a Rickenbacker 450 if you're interested in guitars and stuff. It's kind of cool.